Jeremy Renner is a beautiful human being. Yeah, yeah. And it's no secret that I love the MCU. This man had one of the most moving and emotional performances in the literal biggest movie of all time. His scenes in Endgame with Black Widow were so masterfully acted, he's a true thespian. But his music is... Hmm, questionable. It makes me think there may be a reason behind the term, stay in your lane, boy. This can't seem to miss. Oh, wait, Potter, you hypocrite! You're a less than mediocre YouTube musician who just randomly started making goofy meme videos. What do you know about staying in your lane? To that I say... Um... Crack that subscribe button and ring the bell. Made you look. Jeremy Renner has a new song called Main Attraction. Let me just say it's very... Familiar. As soon as the first distorted bass note hit, followed by that group clap and millennial whoop gang vocals, well, I couldn't help but think of the song Believer by Imagine Dragons. I mean, that's a pretty dang cool song. It's got a relatable message and a really powerful and just totally boss sounding instrumental. Just so you know what I mean, I'm gonna play a side by side comparison. So here's the first measure of Believer. And here's the first measure of main attraction. So you can see it sounds pretty similar, maybe. But I figured maybe it's just a coincidence that it happens to have a similar beat. So I kept listening. Then the drummer did that little power triplet tom fill, you know. That was a bit more suspicious, but I kept listening. And then I noticed the subtle syncopated root and third notes being played in the background. I'm a so when I got to the chorus, I wasn't even surprised to hear the thickly layered yelling vocals that Believer pulled off so well. Now, baby, let's ride. Of course Jeremy did that. Who wouldn't want to have a song of their own that was just as cool as Believer? When I first heard it, that nice chimey octave piano playing muted quarter notes over the back of the chorus to carry it along, I was sure he also stole that from Believer. Oh hi Taika YTT. But I had to eat my words, cause as it turns out, I was just being overly cynical by that point. Of course, that doesn't mean the octave piano over the chorus isn't used a ton in popular music, but it sounds cool, so you can't fault him for that. But then the lyrics. So relatable. I mean, I'm a king of the road. You're the queen of my throne? Yeah, who doesn't know what that's like? So, yeah, I mean, wow. Then there's the classic line, Now baby, let's ride. We got nothing but time. I was just thinking the other day how I have so much free time, I don't know what to do with it. So, the rest of the lyrics are just basically cliches and more of the same thing, so roaming through the city like the track of time, not quite sure what that means. I've tried really hard to figure out what the track of time is. I couldn't find anything, but maybe I'm missing a huge chunk of pop culture and people are screaming at their computers like, idiot, 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 you idiot! Like, is it Mario Kart or something? I don't know. If you know, please comment and let me know. Otherwise, this lyric just don't make any gosh dang sense. Okay, look, the city's flying. We're fighting an army of robots. And I have a bow and arrow. None of this makes sense. I just want to make it clear, this is not a personal attack on Jeremy. I think he has a really cool voice, actually, and it sounds great. There's only so much auto-tune can do, so I think he's a really good singer. He has this really raw power, and I was impressed by the overall production and his talent. Have you seen his uh, Ed Sheeran tribute on Jimmy Fallon? It was funny. And my cat has got its own Instagram. But, let's face it, us regular rock singer dudes just can't pull off Ed Sheeran's vocal gymnastics. But back to main attraction, despite the great production quality and solid vocal talent, the lyrics, well, they could be better. You know, it's like a movie or a show that has amazing acting and score and effects, post editing, directing, but the writing just isn't there. 
could be worse than this, I guess. And let's be real, we all need a distraction once in a while, like the song itself says. And it feels good to turn off your brain and just jam to a great sounding song. I gotta be honest, I actually really, really, really like this song. When I first heard it, I was like, this is so stupid. But as I listened to it more, trying to think of ways I would roast it, I actually really grew to like it. So yeah, it's a fun song. And it's not a requirement for music to have good lyrics. A lot of my favorite music is instrumental. So keep up the good work, Jeremy, and don't let unprofessional morons on the internet, like me, discourage you from doing what you love. Bye.